rotational input. And there is a one, there is a two, there is a three. Throttle to idle, hands off controls, and up and up we go. Look at the reference out there. And there's your two turns. All right, a little bit of power. You have full control. So I was holding the nose up so we could climb. Right, so okay. hold the nose up yep. a little bit, and there's full power. And right back to right back to the six F. So what do you think? That that yeah. time things were happening just a little a little faster, weren't they? Yeah, a little faster. I felt a little bit more comfortable with it from the beginning ones. Well, you can imagine that, that the, the recovery technique is going to be same same every time, isn't it? Yep. Throttle to idle, hands off controls, opposite rudder, stop the rotation, and boy, the airplane. Once we, do you notice that once we come down on that opposite rudder, boy, the airplane really stops rotating quickly. Yep. Well, the truth be told, with with not a lot of gas in the in the wing tanks, there's not a lot of inertia. So today, it's it's actually going to probably respond even a little quicker. All right, let's let's try two turns to the right. Okay. All right. I'm going to join. I'm going to join you on the controls. Okay. All right, and I'm looking all around, and I'm hoping you are as well, yep. looking below, looking above. All right, so we're slowing the airplane down, stall entry, stick comes all the way back, and right rudder coming in, there's our turning moment, and round and round she goes, where she stops, yeah, we know, right about here, and load her up, load her up, load her up, and you have full control. Yeah, go ahead and get us back up to 6,500 feet, and then... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you try one, George, all by your, your lonesome. I'm going to put my feet flat on the floor. You're going to have full control. And here's what I'm hoping is that you can at least get the spin entry in there. But in order to get the spin entry, you'll, you will need to maintain stick back, and you'll have to hold the rudder in the direction you want to go for, you know, for at least until you get the airplane rotating. Sound good? Okay. Yep. So whenever you're ready, right, you can, you can go in this direction or the opposite direction. We just want to stay in, in between the clouds here. And it's a full stall entry. Whenever, whenever is good for you. And we were power. Were we powering back all the way? It's a full stall entry. Yeah, power, power off, full stall entry. Okay. You can do it softly. You don't have to. Sorry do about that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can keep it smooth and fluid. So the stick's got to come all the way back and then full rudder in the direction you want to go. All right, to the right. Keep the stick back. See how the airplane's not really getting upset? Yeah, let me help you. <laughs> and there we go. Now the airplane's upset. You have full control. Okay, throttle back. If you don't raise the nose, it's going to get fast. Ah, there you go. Nice job. Okay. So you, you be the judge, but as soon as you identify the trend that the airplane is nose down and accelerating, yep. how long do you think you'd have to wait in your airplane before you overspeed? Probably not very long. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can you can make the you can make the connection between the you know this big old dirty wing on the Satabri and your airplane. Holy mackerel! So, so remember what what is today all about is beginning to build a a reaction a reaction yep. time that as soon as we disturb the airplane as soon as it's upset what do we do? Well, throttle to idle, hands off controls, rudders in the opposite direction, and recover from the resulting dive. <laughs> How much gas do we have in the left tank? I can see the right one. Uh, well, right now it's showing up. It's bouncing around a half. Yeah, as soon as it, as soon as you come out of the turn, go ahead and stabilize it a little bit. And I just want to make sure we get at least uh, at least a quarter tanks. I know the I know the one on the right is is pretty low. Yeah, it's bouncing between uh, just around a half. Okay. Uh, and the right one is is not much fuel on the right one. Okay. You feel yourself skidding the airplane with the rudder? Yep. Ah, and that's very common. And, and the, the only reason why I'm pointing that out to you, George, is I want you to see how we, we do things sometimes with in the airplane notice. that we, we're not intending to do. All right, so so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the stalls now, right? So you you have the full the full gamut here. So let's just take a look at a at a power on stall straight ahead. Okay. Right, so remember how we used to do those? Yep. Full power. So well, let me let me let me bring you through one. See how okay. you're still turning the airplane to the left as well? Yep. So just head right for oh head right for Winnipesaukee. Go about 10, 10, 15 degrees to the right. There you go. All right, let me join you on the controls. Okay. All right, so throttle comes back. And what we're going to do is we're just going to slow the airplane down a little bit just to get it to the point where it would be representative of an airplane that just left the runway. So what do you think, about 60 miles an hour? Yep. 
there's about 60 miles an hour, yep. and then carburetor heat cold, and a smooth application of full power, and now we just keep raising the deck angle about one degree per second until the stall occurs. So, boy, this Centauri really loves to get up there, doesn't it? Yep. And decrease angle of... No, 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 you don't take back power. Re remember what a power on stall, would you want to reduce power? No. No. Now, now, remember, George, this is what we're doing today. In other words, I want you to see what you're, what you're, you're reacting to. And in other words, regardless, during a, if you just departed the runway and the airplane's only about a half a wingspan off the ground, and you reduce power, is that going to help you recover from the stall? No. No way, Jose, is it? So the idea is that all we're doing is decreasing angle of attack, aren't we? Yep. And rudders to keep it straight. All right, you try one. Okay. And see if you can use the rudders to keep the airplane from turning. Look at a cloud. Look, look use your peripheral vision left and right. Use whatever, whatever perspective you have to see whether the airplane is turning or not. And just make nice light applications on the rudders to keep the airplane going in that direction. And of course, if you stop the pitch, uh, we'll just stay here for hours and hours. Well, we got about an hour and a half of fuel anyway. That's it, nice light applications on the rudders. Don't let it turn. Don't let it turn. Don't use the stick. Oh, there's your spin entry. So you see, you see how the airplane turned, what, about 50 degrees to the left? Yep. I'll bet your dollars to donuts that you could do that without allowing the airplane to turn. But you just need to be just a little more proactive on the rudder. Okay. All right, you do have traffic much lower than us at your 12 o'clock. All right, I have them in sight. They're okay. at your 11 o'clock now, and they're much lower than we are. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and take one right to the right to this heading. Look at it again. Use a, an outside reference. Use your peripheral vision. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look at a cloud in front of the airplane, whatever you have for direction control, or, or help you even use the heading indicator if you like. Alright, so nice light applications on the rudder, don't let it turn. That's it, keep increasing the pitch, but don't dial, see how you keep dialing those ailerons in? That's what's turning the airplane. Yep. When you drop that left aileron, it's an enormous amount of drag and it wants to yaw the airplane. Yep. So what we're trying to do is condition you to say, hey, during a low energy state, during a stall, ailerons oh, neutral. Right. Yeah. So just hold the ailerons neutral, keep increasing angle of attack. Nice. No aileron, no aileron. That's you That's you basically starting the spin. Yep. Yep. And I know you don't mean to do it, but boy, we, we need to overcome that. Just tell yourself in a low energy state, no aileron. A little bit of pressure makes you... <laughs> no, that's your brain reacting. That's how you're conditioned. We're going to try to uncondition that behavior. So the airplane's still turning to the left, and it's for no other reason. It's an absence of rudder, rudder control, that's all. Let me join you on the airplane here. Okay. All right, stick comes up. Yep. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Ailerons are neutral. All I'm doing is decreasing angle of attack. And now I choose a pitch attitude that would be safer for the remainder of the climb out. What do you think? Yeah, much better. Not so bad. And I had to do that trying to overcome your stiff, you know, your stiff hand on a, on a stick. Yep. All right. Go ahead and try one. See if you can see if you can get to the brink of the stall, but don't let the airplane turn without dialing any aileron in. Nice and easy on the rudder. Nice. No stick. No stick. Oh. oh. Yep, that, that's you reacting, George. So, boy, you can really see we're anchoring that thought home, aren't we? That, boy, no matter how hard it is to resist, and we want to overcome that. I was try, uh, trying to put a uh, nose-down attitude. Well, you're dialing an aileron, and if you do that, once you drop the aileron, yep. remember all that drag we talked about, you're putting a turning moment into the airplane. In other words, you're helping it spin. All those control inputs, right, are just a result of what you put in, but much better, at least the airplane's not going 50 degrees to the left. Oh, very nice. Very nice. George, that's the ticket. That's you getting overzealous on the control now. 
That's a result of you applying much, much more rudder than what was necessary. Okay. In other words, when you go like that, that's what the airplane does. You follow what I'm saying? Yep. All the airplane's doing is doing exactly what you asked it for. But if you make these nice, smooth, deliberate control inputs, you will master the airplane. Okay. All right. Job well done. All right, let's turn the airplane in the opposite direction. Okay. You can throttle back. We'll save. Let's save the There's gas. All right, so now let's take a look at that falling leaf exercise. And this is, what a wonderful exercise to, to get somebody to, oh, manage the rudders. Uh, just turn for blue sky, turn right about 20 degrees. See the, the little field down there? That's what I'm looking at. See a little field? Yep. Aim right for that field. That's, that's the biggest, that's the biggest sky. And go ahead and ease the throttle to idle. And little by little, ease the stick all the way back, keeping the ailerons nice and neutral. And, and it's for no other reason that we want to we want to get the airplane stalled. But what we're going to do is we're going to make light applications on the rudder. Don't let it don't let it uh, don't let it turn. We're using the rudders only. I'm going to ease the throttle to idle. All right. So ease the stick all the way back, and you can do it ever so gracefully. But don't let the airplane turn. I'm already seeing the airplane turn to the right. So just a nice light touch on the rudder. No matter what, don't use the ailerons. Just keep that stick coming all the way out. That's me joining you on the stick. We're going to hold the stick all the way out. There's the stick, all the way out. Now light, light pedal. It's light applications on the rudder. Don't let it, don't let it turn. That's me with a little right rudder. Look at that. We're we're completely stalled. Yep. Now why is the airplane not? Why is the airplane not spinning? Because we're not letting it turn. Kind of makes sense. Yep. And of course, where the center of gravity is, boy, we could probably do we could probably do this all all day long. But boy, if you had to. But look at the vertical speed. What's the vertical speed? Um, about a thousand feet per minute. Per minute. Yeah, I don't know that you'd want to hit the ground a thousand feet per no. minute, right? All right, you have full full control, George. Ah, go ahead and recover. So all I did was give you a little a little turning moment to the left, right? Yep. And I just wanted you to have a an element of surprise where uh, you weren't expecting that, but you can see once the airplane gets upset a little bit, no harm, right? Just ease the throttle to idle and recover. Yep. All right, so how are you doing so far? So far, so good. Ah, uh, awesome. I, I figured you'd do fine. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and point the airplane right for the Sanford Airport, and we'll do a we'll just take a look at the trim stall, and at least all the all the stall spin uh, awareness will be.